Hey there guys, how's it going? Jack Shreep here and we're back in Fallout 4 and we're going to be doing another small survival settlement um, build like a little player home but today we're at Abernathy Farm so we've already been over at Red Rocket and before that we did uh, Hangman's Alley um, and today like I say we're at Abernathy Farm um, I've decided to do it down the bottom of the field I don't really come and build down here and usually um, unless the settlement brings me right the way down here but Abernathy isn't one of the places I build very much um, so I've made a little place out of uh, two trailers, one um, container, and then I've actually placed all these trees using the US Mots, USO mod, all these plants and trees and everything around, um, as if they've been growing around it and uh, died and different things like that. So um, yeah, I quite like how this one's turned out. What we're going to do is we're going to take a little loop around like we are now in the uh, in the daytime. I am using the overgrowth mod, so that's what's put these trees. Um, these I've somehow. That tree's fallen over um, and it's still alive. I, I don't know, it must have recently fallen over. It's lucky it didn't land on the uh, the little uh, player home here. Um, but that's the only way that it would still be alive because it's completely uprooted by the looks of things. But the, um, the, the uh, overgrowth mod actually added that in. So now we'll switch over to night time. We'll have a little wrap wrap around it again. Tried to keep it quite low key not uh it's nicely lit inside but i tried to, as much as i could to try and keep the light from being on the outside try not to attract very much attention there's not any stores here or anything like that if you're going to trade at this settlement obviously the pe uh, the uh, people up on the actual farm they have the shop there uh well one of the settlers they uh trade with you and you can also get the food off the farm that they grow and everything there um, so that works out quite nicely plus with it only being the shoe trailers and the uh, container you don't actually use that many materials to build the actual structure um, yeah so <laughs> I completely lost what I was saying there um, so because you're not using too many materials it's quite good for in the uh, in the survival playthrough get yourself something put down um, obviously if you're going to go ahead and put all the trees and all the different things around it that's going to use you more materials but for that base structure it's quite uh, quite cheap on uh, junk resources so uh, just as we get round here we'll uh, we'll start moving in from the front front gate we've got a gate entrance which can be locked down by the uh, sole survivor he's not the sole survivor in this one is he anyway <laughs> so here we go now we'll have a little pan up we'll go back to daytime this is the front gate area here we've got the sandbags around and the cinder blocks uh helping defend we've got the chain link fence going right the way around this area and then just as you come in the gate there on the right hand side this is a little chemistry area the chairs behind me actually pushed me forward there that's why the uh i kind of got a little bit closer to it zoomed in and all that here we head down here we've got a little pallet step we also using the cinder blocks again there we've just glitched them together using the rug glitch this is a look on the night time so you can be out here tinkering away making up his chems and the different things he might need for going out and scaving all over the place in the uh, in the wilds out there shall we say so this bottom end is not that, not that little because that's the front end so we don't want that to be drawing too much attention to that front entrance inside the container he has his generator so it's nice and protected from uh, any would-be attackers we did have an attack while I was building this uh, and a load of gunners came here which is I, I'm not sure if gunners attack normally it's raiders that attack this place but I might be wrong it's been a while since I've actually bothered with any of the settlement attacks i just leave the settlements to do whatever the whatever with it i've always put enough turrets and up that up to where uh, to deal with it for me so looking back over to the front entrance there we've got a little seating area uh we'll pan round to it now a little seating area where i've used the barrels and the two tall stools i quite like the look of that um so yeah when he's out here in the daytime and he wants to stop have a bit of lunch or have a beer he can just sit there and chill out nice and shaded if the sun's too hot for him as well got some ammunition and stuff on the boxes that he's holding all his storage in there just behind the seats some oil barrels and stuff now down here um this is where we've got the weapons workstation and everything we'll just have a look at that in a second once we get panned around got bits of paint on the floor as well so we're going from the top of the steps just to get a bit of a better angle on it and this place is where he sorts out all his weapons and He's got um, a few tools and that on the side. Um, obviously, the the uh, toolboxes and that at the back. 
and sweep around from this side now. I quite like the angle. I've also managed to glitch in one of them uh, canopy things over the top, which makes it a little bit different rather than the square roof, and I quite like how that turned out as well on the top there. With that junk fence, but still put that uh, chain link in across it just to give it an extra layer of depth to it. And this is on a night time, quite nicely lit if he is working on his weapons and he wants to, maybe he's under attack or whatever, he definitely wants to be able to grab whatever he needs from there. So in here, this is the uh, the downstairs um, trailer that's on the bottom level. And this one, it's got the armor workstation because it has the metal floor there. So obviously with that flavor barrel there, we want to be uh, having that on the metal floor within the trailer. And then on the other side, I've gone for the um, armor work station which actually fit in here quite nicely i did use a glug to get it all in um quite nicely packed we've got bits of power armor and stuff obviously he's mixed matched this power armor together we've got a t60 head and um t60 chest on oh, no, a t45 head and a t60 chest uh a t60 arm uh, i can't remember because i'm not looking at it now so it's been and gone <laughs> So that's it looking up the stairs there. We've got the barrel the boxes and barrels and then when we get to the top of the stairs We've got this area. He's got all his ammo up here um, Up on the top and if you look as we go around the corner here, you see that uh, That pile on there it tends to be three ragstag hang around under there quite a lot and from here with a nice sniper rifle You just pop that off go get yourself some dinner and uh, so that works out quite nicely He'll sit up here in the night time play around with his weapons he has a good vantage he's got the um, corrugated steel all the way around the whole top end of that that little seating area and the reason I've done that is so that he can duck and cover and hopefully if they're just using something like a 22 or something or one of the pipe rifles maybe won't be able to pierce through that well we hope anyway um, but who knows in my head in my law it can't just like it can't penetrate through that container at the bottom Doomsday Preppers, that's where I saw that. And she, he was shooting them with the 22s. Well, most people are going to have the 22s. So I'm going to shoot this with the 22 and hope I don't get no bullets in my home. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know whether I did any good on that. <laughs> I did a general accent. Fuck it. It don't matter. Right up here, we've got the uh, little walkway going across to the second trailer. And the second trailer is his home. So he's up on the top. He has that gate downstairs. He has a couple of seconds to get himself prepared ready for the uh, on oncoming attack. Mind you, be nice to have some glass in these windows so they weren't able to just shot a Molotov in and uh, burn him in his sleep. But, you know, there's uh, downfalls to everything, I suppose, and it hasn't happened yet. He's got the uh, bedroom area again, nicely cluttered up, a few magazines and different things. This is on the night time quite well lit I think they actually lit the wrong end of the caravan here for obviously the seating area wants to have the light in the bedroom not so much but oh well <laughs> whoopsie it's all good I tried to put it kind of center by the looks of things but oh well and he's got a little area there where he can use his uh, um, I was gonna say a laptop but it's obviously not it's a typewriter in it um, and he's in having a beer in bed just chilling out having a smoke and he's got his alarm clock there getting up on a morning get out on the scav so this is it on a night time again from the seating area which is nice and dark to the bedroom which is nice and light i put that uh, i didn't even realize until now when we've uh, even when recording i didn't realize so there we go guys that's the end of the settlement i hope you've all enjoyed if you did hit that like button remember to uh, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell notification so you know when we've got stuff coming out i mean i have a different tour coming out every single uh, sunday at 12 o'clock i hope you've enjoyed this one the next one's over at sunshine tide it's actually no sorry the one after the next one's at sunshine tidings the next one's actually a mod for a bunker uh, which i've done up anyway guys hope to see you in the next one thanks a lot bye bye